Hello, welcome to Appliance Master Live. I'm Bill. With me again this week is Kari. Hello, uh, we just want to say we hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. And this week we're going to be talking about purchasing a new washing machine. You know, since it was Black Friday last week and then Cyber Monday yesterday, so everybody's, you know, it's a good time of year to start shopping around for new big purchases. Okay, and I guess the first the first fork in the road when looking for a washer machine is a top load washer or a front load washer. And um, oh, by the way, uh, on certain topics I'm very opinionated <laughs> and I have, and you might, it might be very unscientific how I get to my opinions, but, and so I should have like a warning label. A so, warning label, caution. Yeah. So when it, yeah, because when it comes to top load, front load, um, well, first of all, like front load washers. There seems to be diehards for both. Yeah, front load yeah. versus and what you're load. used to people are used mm -hmm. to things so that's what they uh, go for but um, with a front load they typically use less water and um, they claim to wash a little bit better which is I mean it's not mm -hmm. it's not that obvious I mean but they you know that's what the claim is they have generally faster spin speed so they remove wa more water during a spin cycle mm -hmm. so might mean shorter drying times mm -hmm. So those are the and claims. A shorter wash cycle, right? Uh, no, it's shorter wash cycle. Like a total cycle would be over quickly if it spins faster, or not necessarily. No, no. Some of the the front loads have a lot longer wash cycles. Mm -hmm. They could be um, could be well over an hour, hour and a half. It's uh, they get kind of creative because um, you know because they just they wash back and forth rather. Than, you know, it's like mm -hmm. a, they do the agitate, and it's I don't know. There's a lot more involved. So there's a lot more. Um, electronics and design involved in a, in a front load. The cons for a front load are um, it's more maintenance. You have to uh, keep the make, you know, make sure the seals dry. I know we've talked about that before. After every load, make sure nobody closes the door on you so it can mm -hmm. air out. You have to be aware of odors and uh, mildew buildup, and uh, you have to run regular cleaning cycles mm -hmm. through those. So again, my opinion, I, I, I prefer top loads because there are generally fewer components to break. It's like you're keeping water in a bowl as opposed to trying to keep water sideways. You know, you're trying to keep water behind a glass door. That makes which, sense. Yeah, and um, you know, it's like mm -hmm. fewer moving parts, fewer things to break. Mm -hmm. uh, simple, I'm all about simple. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, so if you were to pick a washing machine, you'd go for a top loader rather than front loader yeah I mean the only way you wouldn't is if like the space didn't accommodate it like mm -hmm. if you had a tiny laundry room or you didn't have a laundry mm -hmm. room you had to put it in your kitchen and you needed a front yeah. loader you know they're um like it just they are they do make good front loaders it's just mm -hmm. that you know that's a little bit more that's a different situation so you mm -hmm. might be in that situation you might have a, mm -hmm. a laundry room that's only set up for a stacked washer and dryer but if you had a stack washer and dryer they do make top load stack washer and dryers so you can put the washer so they are out there and then what about the agitator in the top load washing machines because i know a lot of them nowadays don't even have an ag agitator inside well, of them they just kind of spin around yeah i guess you have to be mindful of putting your clothes in a circle around the washing machine yeah we'll get to that i mean i i think um those are on that brings me, we can touch on that, okay. but that brings me to the back to the point of like price points. Like manufacturers don't sit in a room and say, let's make the best washing machine at the best value possible. It's like, no, they're like, um, there's, they know there's a market out there. Mm -hmm. There's so many people that are going to be shopping and they will not spend, or they're looking to spend three to $500 on a washing machine, mm -hmm. or maybe narrower than that. Maybe it's like, you know, Three ninety nine, the four, you know, forty five. But they have very scientifically have like identified the people who the shoppers, mm -hmm. and they're designing a mean a machine for that shopper. And mm -hmm. uh, all I can say is like if you're in the if you're in the five hundred dollars or less for a washing machine, get help, get some help, get somebody to lend you money to buy a better machine. Like I wouldn't avoid spending that little on a washing machine. Because, yeah. um, again. Well, because the then opinions if something... expressed here on Appliance Master Live are not yeah. necessarily that <laughs> they're just not. Well, and if you're spending, you know, 500 or less in a washing machine, if something goes wrong, you'll be less inclined to fix it, and you'll be having to go through the whole process of buying a new washing machine again, possibly in the next, you know, yeah. well, it infuriates three to me. five I mean, years. I, I run into people all the time. I see them in wherever, in mm -hmm. supermarket, you know, shopping at somewhere, and they'll be like, 
It's like, I don't fix my washing machine. I just run over to the big box store and I get myself a new $400 washer. I'm like, well, this is like, how many, or dishwasher or dry. It's like, and they do that every three or four years and, and that's their plan. I'm like, See, that's, I don't, I don't know. They, they, they need an intervention, I think. Uh, but, I don't, you know, and so. What are some things that a customer should be wary of when purchasing a new washing machine? They're trying to get the best value and longevity out of it. Well, the old adage uh, still is true. You basically get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. If um, I think in order to make a quality, a decent washing machine that's going to last, I mean, you can get one that's going to last 15, mm -hmm. 20 years with a family of two, three, four more, and the, you know, as long as you use it properly, uh, mm -hmm. you, you can get lots of years out of a washing machine. But in order to build something like that, it's going to cost at least $900. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can spend more. They make uh, premium and high-end things that are extremely well made. Mm -hmm. But um, that's again in my opinion. That's that's where it starts. Anything below that, they're they're like shaving things, making things thinner, put mm -hmm. in like uh, shiny things to distract you. Um, your question was what to to avoid. What? Yeah. On those um, uh, on those uh, machines where they're trying to like make it look better than it is, they typically will have. They start off with like a giant wash tub, and it's like, ooh, look how big that is. Mm -hmm. And they typically make them shiny too. I don't know why. Every, like, yeah, the inside of a washing machine always t seems to be chrome. And they polish. You have to it. look inside yeah. of it. And like, so that's right away. It's like, uh, if you if your machine is like full of embellishments in order to try to get you to buy it, it's like they're hiding something. It's mm -hmm. like, eh. so. Um, and like overly stylistic, you know, some like have like, maybe it'll look like a Salvador Dali washing machine with like all kinds of curves or, you know, they, it's like, you know, you know, it's like they try to make it like artistic, make it look uh, prettier. Um, they put like unnecessary lighting on it, different color LEDs, lots of LEDs. And, um, trying to trick people into it's a Christmas tree, bring the joy and yeah. excitement. Well, they want you to fall in it's love with it. They go, oh, wow, look how nice that looks. It's like a puppy or something. Wow, that machine looks great. But it's like, <laughs> on the outside, it's kind of pretty. But on the inside, it's kind of, um, I have a picture. It's, I apologize. There it's could kind of, be a lot of plastic on the inside. Well, yeah, they have to use plastic or even cheap plastic. I mean, mm -hmm. some people, there's actually better qualities of plastic and they uh, don't use those. I mean, here's a, I, this, is a, this is a bad, I usually have better photographs. Mm -hmm. But here's a picture of like inside of a transmission, and um, I don't know, is that on here? I mean, their transmission has like two moving parts in here, and it's all steel. This one has 21 parts, and they're all tiny little plastic gears, and uh, and like uh, I don't trust that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, in fact, my uh, unscientific reason is because we we see people throw these away all the time, mm -hmm. and. True. Um, and you know, if you had a nine hundred dollar machine and it was fifteen years old, and somebody came over and you know, you know, jammed a quilt into your machine and broke a belt, which, you know, or, that you know, does happen quite frequently. You know, and if you break a belt, or mm -hmm. you know, you can, it's a relatively inexpensive repair. Mm -hmm. You get a new belt, you know, and so uh, you can go on, keep going on for years. But if somebody, you know, if somebody um, um, overloads one of these other machines, yeah. you can like damage a transmission, and you yeah, can damage parts that are. Shot. Yeah, that are a lot more, you know, and even a $200 repair on a $400 washing machine, you're not going to do. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I wouldn't think. So, um, I don't know, I'm, mm -hmm. a, I'm kind of a tool guy, so it's like I try to buy the best things, treat them well, and have them last a long time. Mm -hmm. And then I do have some questions that some of our customers had submitted, uh -huh. you know, and then someone had asked, should you take into consideration your family size or your washing habits when purchasing a washing machine and dryer as far as capacity? So if you have a larger family, you're washing blankets a lot, you need to look for a larger uh, washing machine or... See, yeah, that's a tricky question. It's like, first of all, if you have a, the bigger family you have, you mm -hmm. should try to do more loads rather than like cram the laundry. So more frequent, smaller loads rather yeah, than... Yeah, or average loads. So if you, like I said, you bought your standard top loader, if you know, do five, you know, five loads instead of four, or instead of three. It's like you, you, you're not nobody. You know, nobody loves laundry. I don't think, but it's like, and, it's, and um, so, and even if, but even if like, um, like if you're a single person, and like you're, a, I don't know if you're gonna do just one pair of pants or, a, you know, you're probably gonna do just you're gonna do one load. You know, you'll do two loads a week instead of uh, yeah more. Excuse me. Yeah, so, so I think some of 
going over some of the other questions, I believe that you may have touched on most of those things. Mm -hmm. So I guess the takeaways would be the less bells and whistles is probably better because there's less things to go wrong. Yeah, it's like, you know, I bought a hammer to hammer a nail. It's like, can I get a hammer that hammers three nails at one time? It's like, probably. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't know. It's like you try to, <laughs> that's a silly example, but um, no, you buy, you know, buy a, a traditional standard kind of machine and then use it properly, which is, or you were saying like quilts, like some, that all depends on the, the article. Like some are smaller, some are yeah. like a king size. If you, like anything really big, you should just probably take to a commercial machine on a laundry bag. You probably don't want yeah. to hear that. But um, technically in the user's manual, they will have weights, like the weight of a load. And it's like you really, when it comes to specific mm -hmm. items like that, you really should check into it because, I mean, you could damage any machine by putting, mm -hmm. you know, put it like uh, throw rugs probably shouldn't be done in any machine. Yeah, that, you know? I, we've had people with issues with that, the rug comes apart and it gets yeah. stuck in all the holes and you can't get it out. Yeah. <laughs> or the so. rubber on the backing of them comes off. Yeah. So, yes. Read right. your owner's manual, make sure that you're following the laundry instructions. Or like, if you can't find your owner's manual, call us, we'll try to find one for you and maybe mm -hmm. show you how to download it. Yeah, we can find right. pretty much all of them online with the model number. Well, I hope this was helpful <laughs> and I hope... Uh, yeah ask us any questions on the video or you can send it to us through our website at appliancemaster.com we'd be more than happy to answer them for you and then yeah we'll see you next week thanks <laughs>